So this perceptual mind, and, and I, I like to use an example of, you know, how many here have ever been to Mammoth Cave? Anybody ever been to Mammoth Cave? It is absolutely mammoth. I mean, it's unbelievable the size of this cave. Imagine that we put you in Mammoth Cave and we give you a pen light. Now, in Mammoth Cave with a pen light, you can see one little tiny fragment of the cave at a time. I mean, it's just so huge, it's unfathomable. And that pen light can only show you the tiniest bit of it at a time. That's kind of like the human nine-bit mind looking in a 20 trillion bit world. Now let's imagine that we told you that we have a clear plastic bag and we put a million dollars worth of diamonds in the bag somewhere out in plain sight on the wall of the cave and if you can get the diamonds and get out of the cave alive, they're yours. What would be the most important skill you could have? Wouldn't it be the ability to point the light in the right place at the right time for what you need to do next in the cave to get to the diamonds and get out with them? Let's imagine that you use the light and you look and you look and you carefully search the wall of the cave and finally you see that glitter of the diamonds. You go, I've got them. There they are. And in order not to lose them, of course, you keep the light shining on the diamonds and you go charging off toward the diamonds. And you don't use the light to show you the 30-foot pit in front of you. You've got a serious problem, right? Well, that's exactly the same if you allow either hostility or fear to enter into your mind. If so, your lights are out. And if that becomes your guidance, then you'll do things you regret. And that's that phrase, how deep will that darkness become? If you want to do real communication in your relationships, in your life, the first thing you need to do is maintain intelligence. The first step to maintaining intelligence is to keep the lights on. You've got to keep love active in your mind. And many people have thought of it as a religious principle when they said to Yeshua 2,000 years ago, what's most important in the law? And it's made to sound like some kind of something that belongs to some old fogies in the desert and, you know, thousands of years ago. And it really doesn't have much to do with us modern, updated people today. But he said the first law was, when you think of an object of attention like the Creator, your neighbor, or yourself, you've got to keep your lights on. You've got to stay connected to love. Because if you don't, then darkness is your guide. How deep will your darkness become if hostility or fear is your guide? So that becomes the first rule to communication. You want to make sure that you stay connected and you keep your lights on. You keep love active in your mind. 